How difficult is cybersecurity to master? 9 Strategies for Achieving Success Cybersecurity is a rapidly growing field that is critical to the protection of organizations and individuals from digital threats. With the increasing reliance on technology, there is a growing demand for skilled cybersecurity professionals. But just how difficult is it to master cybersecurity? In this video, we'll explore the challenges of the field and provide you with 9 strategies for achieving success in your cybersecurity career. Whether you're just starting out or looking to advance your skills, these strategies will help you navigate the complexities of cybersecurity and achieve your goals. So sit back, relax, and get ready to learn about the strategies for success in the world of cybersecurity. 1. Start with a basic course to form a solid foundation. In a course on cybersecurity, you can construct a basic skill set in a methodical learning atmosphere as well as get a sense of what cybersecurity is actually like. Take this chance to evaluate whether a job in information security would suit your personal ambitions and hobbies. In a course introducing the basics of cybersecurity topics such as the following might be discussed. Utilizing techniques and approaches to secure networks from malicious activity. Adhering to security protocols and meeting industry regulations. Ensuring the safety of operating systems, networks, and data. Dealing with occurrences of wrongdoing. Examining security through simulated attacks. Gathering information about potential cyber risks. Having a general understanding of the scope of cybersecurity will enable you to better comprehend the abilities you possess, which sector of cybersecurity you are interested in pursuing, and what abilities you need to cultivate in order to achieve your goal. 2. Assess your enthusiasm for technology. It's possible to find cybersecurity demanding yet not hard, particularly if you have a real enthusiasm for tech. Develop an interest in the technologies you're dealing with, and you could discover that skills that were once challenging become less so. A person's excitement about a topic can be increased simply by studying it. If the enthusiasm of other individuals is beneficial for you, then joining a group of other cyber safety experts, tip 7, might be a beneficial solution. After taking a few courses, you may find that your interests lie somewhere else. Do not worry. Cybersecurity can be a thrilling, demanding, and highly rewarding profession but it is not right for everyone. 3. Make it a habit to acquire a little knowledge each day. Having a certain amount of knowledge in cybersecurity doesn't require you to uproot your life and enroll in a degree program or intensive boot camp. Allocating a bit of time each day can result in major progress. Plan to devote 15 minutes of your time to cybersecurity and try to keep to the same schedule each day. In order to maximize your learning, it's essential to dedicate a specific period of time and also to plan what you'll be doing during that time. Be detailed in your plan, for instance, you could plan to watch two lectures, take a quiz, or read a chapter. 4. Turn into an ethical hacker. Ethical hacking, also known as white hat hacking, is the practice of using hacking techniques and tools for the purpose of finding and fixing vulnerabilities in a system, network, or application. Ethical hackers are hired by organizations to perform security assessments and penetration testing, and their goal is to identify and mitigate security threats before they can be exploited by malicious actors. The key difference between ethical hacking and malicious hacking is the intent behind the actions. Ethical hackers are authorized by the organization or have legal authorization to perform their activities and work to improve the security of the systems they are testing, while malicious hackers are unauthorized and work to exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain or to cause harm. The International Council of Electronic Commerce Consultants, EC Council, is a leading organization in the field of ethical hacking and information security, and they offer the Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, certification to individuals who want to demonstrate their skills and knowledge in ethical hacking. Ethical hacking is a critical component of an organization's overall security strategy, as it helps identify and address security risks before they can be exploited. Ethical hackers use a combination of technical skills and knowledge of security best practices to simulate real-world attacks and assess the security of systems and applications. It's important for ethical hackers to operate within the bounds of the law and to have a clear understanding of the ethical and legal guidelines for their activities. Ethical hacking requires a combination of technical expertise, attention to detail, and a strong commitment to ethical behavior. By having legally authorized individuals perform ethical hacking activities, organizations can ensure that their security assessments are performed in a responsible and professional manner. 5. Hone your skills via simulated scenarios. For those taking cybersecurity courses, virtual labs offer a great opportunity to apply their knowledge using genuine security tools in simulated scenarios. These labs are usually part of the course structure, however, creating one's own virtual lab is just as viable. 
Practicing cybersecurity in simulated environments is a great way to develop and refine your skills without risking real-world consequences. Here are some ways to practice cybersecurity in simulated environments. Virtual Machine Labs You can set up virtual machines running various operating systems and applications, and then use tools and techniques to perform security assessments, penetration testing, and other security-related activities. CTF Capture the Flag Events CTFs are security competitions where participants are challenged to find and exploit vulnerabilities in simulated environments. These events provide an opportunity to practice your skills in a controlled and safe environment. Online Labs There are many online labs that allow you to practice cybersecurity skills, such as hacking, forensics, and incident response, in simulated environments. Some popular platforms include Hack the Box, Vuln Hub, and Cyber Patriot. Cyber Range a cyber range is a simulated environment that mimics a real-world network and provides an opportunity to practice cybersecurity skills, such as incident response and threat hunting. Some organizations offer cloud-based cyber ranges that can be accessed from anywhere. Practice with tools, there are many tools available that can be used to simulate various cybersecurity scenarios, such as simulated phishing attacks, social engineering simulations, and simulated network attacks. It's important to note that while these simulated environments can provide valuable experience and practice, they can never fully replicate the complexity and diversity of real-world environments. It's important to continually expand your knowledge and experience through practical, hands-on experience in addition to simulated environments. 6. Vary your skill set with workplace acumen. Effective communication skills are essential for a cybersecurity engineer, as they play a crucial role in ensuring the security of an organization's systems and data. Here are a few key communication skills that are important for a cybersecurity engineer. Technical writing, the ability to clearly and concisely document security procedures, protocols, and technical reports is essential for effective communication within a security team and with other stakeholders. Presentation skills, cybersecurity engineers may be called upon to give presentations or briefings on security topics, so strong presentation skills are important for conveying information and gaining buy-in from others. Interpersonal communication, cybersecurity engineers must be able to communicate effectively with a wide range of stakeholders, including technical and non-technical team members, executives, and customers. Active listening, the ability to listen actively and understand the concerns and needs of others is important for building relationships and resolving security incidents. Collaboration, cybersecurity is a team sport, and effective communication and collaboration with other team members is essential for success. Conflict resolution, Conflict is inevitable in any team, and a cybersecurity engineer must be able to effectively communicate and resolve conflicts in a professional manner. In addition to these specific skills, it's also important for a cybersecurity engineer to have a strong understanding of the broader business context and be able to effectively communicate the risks and impact of security incidents to non-technical stakeholders. 7. Participate in the cybersecurity community. Joining a cybersecurity community can provide many benefits when learning and practicing cybersecurity, including Networking opportunities Cybersecurity communities provide a platform to connect with others in the field, including professionals, students, and experts. This can help you build relationships, expand your network, and stay up to date with the latest developments and trends in the industry. Access to resources and information Cybersecurity communities often have access to a wealth of resources and information, including tutorials, training materials, and discussion forums. This can help you quickly and easily access the information you need to advance your skills and knowledge. Hands-on experience Many cybersecurity communities offer opportunities for hands-on experience, such as Capture the Flag, CTF, events and online labs, where you can practice your skills and put your knowledge to the test. Career Advancement Joining a cybersecurity community can provide you with opportunities for professional development and career advancement, such as speaking engagements, job postings, and networking events. Collaboration and support Cybersecurity is a field that relies heavily on collaboration and teamwork, and joining a community can provide you with the support and encouragement you need to succeed. You can collaborate with others on projects, share best practices, and receive feedback and advice from more experienced professionals. In summary, Joining a cybersecurity community can provide many benefits when learning and practicing cybersecurity, including access to resources and information, hands-on experience, career advancement opportunities, and collaboration and support. There are many online communities dedicated to cybersecurity, where individuals can connect with peers, exchange information, and learn about new developments in the field. Here are a few of the most popular ones. 
Reddit, the cybersecurity subreddit is a large and active community where users can discuss the latest security news, ask questions, and share information. If you're not quite prepared to join a professional group, Reddit is a great place to begin. Here are some well-known subreddits. r slash cyber to keep up to date with the most recent international cybersecurity news. r slash cybersecurity is a subreddit for discussing general cybersecurity topics and mentorship Monday. GitHub. GitHub is a platform for sharing and collaborating on code and projects, and there are many repositories dedicated to security tools and resources. Stack Exchange. Stack Exchange is a network of Q&A communities, including the Information Security Stack Exchange, where individuals can ask and answer questions on a wide range of security topics. LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a professional networking site with many groups dedicated to cybersecurity, where individuals can connect with others in the industry, share information, and participate in discussions. Twitter. Many security experts and organizations are active on Twitter, and it's a great way to stay up to date on the latest security news and trends. DEF CON. DEF CON is one of the largest and oldest hacker conferences, held annually in Las Vegas. It attracts a wide range of attendees, from security professionals to hobbyist hackers, and is a great opportunity to network and learn about new developments in the field. These are just a few examples of the many online communities dedicated to cybersecurity. Joining these communities can be a great way to stay informed, connect with others in the field, and further your knowledge and expertise in the area. 8. Get a certification. There are many different cybersecurity certifications available, each with its own focus and target audience. Here are a few of the most well-known and widely recognized certifications. Certified Information Systems Security Professional CISP, a globally recognized certification for information security professionals. It covers a broad range of security topics, including security management, asset security, security architecture and engineering, communications and network security, identity and access management, security assessment and testing, security operations, and software development security. Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, a certification that focuses on the techniques and tools used by malicious hackers, and teaches how to use these techniques in an ethical and legal manner to find and fix vulnerabilities in an organization's systems. CompTIA Security Plus, a globally recognized certification that covers fundamental security concepts and best practices, including network security, compliance and operational security, threats and vulnerabilities, and application, data, and host security. Certified Cloud Security Professional, CCSP, a certification that focuses on the security of cloud computing and covers topics such as cloud data security, cloud platform and infrastructure security, and cloud application security. Certified Information Security Manager, CISM, a certification focused on information security management and covers topics such as information security governance, risk management, incident management, and disaster recovery. These are just a few of the many certifications available in the field of cybersecurity. It's important to research and compare different certifications to determine which one best fits your career goals and areas of interest. 9. Look into businesses that offer educational programs. Cybersecurity professionals must stay up to date on emerging threats and technologies in order to remain successful. They must actively work to update their own skills in order to keep up with changes in the cyber threat environment. If you are striving to find a job in cybersecurity, then you should look for employers who provide continual instruction. This can not only be financially beneficial, but it can also save you from using your own time. As part of your job, you may have access to training that is provided by the company, and you could attend it during work hours. So, what businesses offer educational programs for cybersecurity? The answer is, a lot. There are a variety of businesses and organizations that offer educational programs for those looking to start or advance their career in cybersecurity. Let's take a look at some of the most popular options. Colleges and universities, many higher education institutions offer degree and certificate programs in cybersecurity, providing a comprehensive education in the field. Cybersecurity training providers, organizations like SANS Institute, Cybrary, and Infosec Institute specialize in cybersecurity training, offering a wide range of programs to meet your needs. Cybersecurity vendors, companies like Cisco, Symantec, and McAfee offer educational programs and certifications specifically focused on their products and technologies. Professional associations, professional organizations like the International Association of Computer Security Professionals, ISC2 and the Information Systems Security Association, ISSA, offer educational programs and certifications for cybersecurity professionals. Government agencies, government organizations such as the National Security Agency, NSA, and the Department of Homeland Security, 
DHS, also offer educational programs and certifications for those interested in working in the government sector. So, there you have it. These are just a few examples of the many businesses and organizations that offer educational programs for cybersecurity. It's important to research and compare different programs to determine which one best fits your goals and interests. In conclusion, there are many businesses and organizations that offer educational programs for cybersecurity, providing individuals with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in this rapidly growing field. So, take advantage of these opportunities and start your journey towards a successful career in cybersecurity today.